this video, we're going to cover piping logic. Piping means taking text from a previous question or answer and putting it into the question text of a different question or into an answer text of a different question. To demo piping, I'm going to use the rules demo survey and I'm going to use the PC preview emulator and not the mobile preview emulator. I'm going to start the emulator from Q4 and then choose one of the car brands below. If I choose Toyota, I have the next question that tells me you chose Toyota. This Toyota text was piped from the previous question. What do you do most what day do you most like driving? I'm going to select Wednesday. Now it tells me that I chose Toyota and I like driving the most on Wednesday. Again, Toyota and Wednesday were piped from the previous question. Next, I see and now which day do you like the most? I see either the day that I chose previously, Wednesday, which was piped from the previous questions, or rest of the week. I'm going to choose Wednesday. Piping is done through the start script of a question. Let's see how. Here is the question that asks me to choose one of the car brands below, Ford, Toyota, Mercedes, and Mazda. Let's go to the next question that has the piping in it. As you can see, it says you chose and then there's a specific placeholder, curly braces zero, and adds Dan, what day do you most like driving? The piping code will replace this placeholder with the answer of the previous question. Let's see how it does, does it using the scripts. The start script makes use of the set text format function, which is a specific piping function, and pipes the selected answer text of question number 9 into this question. Question number 9 is Q4. That's the question that asks us for the car brand. If you are unfamiliar with the set text format function or any of our other functions, you can find the complete reference by heading over to our support site at support.doobla.net and putting in the search bo box handbook. This will bring up the built-in functions handbook post which has a link to the complete functions manual reference guide. And in this guide you can find all of our functions including set text format. This will bring up all the information about the set text format function, including examples, parameters, and a general description. So in our case, we're using the set text format to pipe the selected answer text of question number 9. Selected answer text is again a built-in function that takes a question index and returns the textual representation of the answer. Whatever is passed as a variable to the set text format function will replace the, the curly braces placeholder found in the question. You can pipe additional text to a question text and not only one. Here's an example of how. In the next question, the question text tells us that we chose a certain car brand and we like driving it most on a certain day. As you can see the curly braces 0 still stays and a curly braces 1 placeholder has been added. Again in the script we use the set text format function but now we pass on two variables. The first one is the selected answer text of question number 9. But the second one is the selected answer text of question number 10. Question number 10 is Q5 which holds the dates. So essentially we're piping two text variables into question number six, the chosen brand and the chosen day. 
If needed, we can add curly braces 2 and curly braces 3, etc. placeholders to add more piping variables. In addition to piping text into a question text, we can also pipe text into an answer text. Here is a demo of how. The next question, question number 7, tells us, and now, which day do you like the most? And we have two answers, curly braces 0, which is again a placeholder that will be replaced with a pipe text or the rest of the week. In order to do the piping, we'll head over to the script tab, and again we use instead of the set text format, we use the set answer text format. We give it the current question, the answer ID, which is the first answer that we want to replace, and the selected answer text of question number 10. Question number 10 is the day's question. So what we're doing here is piping the selected day into the answer of question number 7. The first answer will be replaced with the selected day. In this demo, we covered piping logic.